Hello diaper wearers. We have to talk about Abu again. No, this time not about the next price increase and not about new diapers, as we did in Diaper News episode 18. Over the last few weeks, I have observed developments that I would like to summarize for you in this video. Let's first take a quick look at Abu. It is a manufacturer of various colorful printed ABDL diapers, some of which I have already tested. The best known are probably the peak abu, which I have seen very often for a long time. The little pause is also quite common. Cotton fans can hardly avoid abu because the manufacturer has started to serve this niche in the ABDL sector with the little kings. Then there are the caps and hats with the peak abu mascots, which have become a kind of hidden identification mark. In short, abu has established itself as a well-known brand in our scene in recent years. I was therefore all the more surprised to hear about internal problems. It started at the beginning of February 2024, when an increasing number of former ABU employees publicly reported that they had been dismissed by their employer. The first post I could find was from February 7, 2024, he had worked there for eight years and was responsible for the design of advertising, diapers and other marketing content. At least until he was dismissed without notice shortly before the post. He also complains that the soul and joy of Abu, which he helped to create, is no longer there. New ways of contributing to the community must therefore be sought, he concludes. Being dismissed without warning may sound harsh, and this is not the only case. Just a few days later, another employee announces that he is also no longer with Abu and that the company has laid off half of the team. He did not say how big the team was, so it's hard to say how much people are affected in total. There were presumably other dismissals, not all of which were reported on the internet. Especially as he was very upset by the dismissal and needed some time to come to terms with it. According to Abu's own statement, it's all ABDLs who work there, so it's understandable that they don't see this job as just any job, but to a certain extent as a vocation. They are proud to have improved the reputation of ABDL in recent years and to have taken it a bit out of its niche so that it is also welcome at other events. He believes that poor leadership and financial management at the top of the company led to the redundancies. It is difficult to independently verify these allegations. Of course, I don't want to accuse anyone of lying and there must be reasons why so many employees have been made redundant in a short space of time, so this explanation fits the picture. However, you should of course always listen to the other side in order to get a balanced impression. Unfortunately, for a long time this issue was completely swept under the carpet. Comments on the official Abu website were ignored. Even in the English language ABDL forum ADISC, the dismissals were addressed. But the administration does not want any discussions about it and does not tolerate them. Their position, it is 100% Abu's decision and business whether they want to say anything publicly about it, ultimately it is none of our business. In some cases, they even condemn the fact that ex-employees have made their dismissal public. They consider discussions about this to be inappropriate, as they would cast a bad light on the ex-employee. Even my question as to whether anyone had any further information was closed after less than an hour? Although I wasn't even interested in speculation, but in official information that I may have missed. I find this point of view strange for an independent forum that, according to its own description, does not represent the interests of commercial companies, and I do not share it for several reasons. First of all, my question was explicitly not even about theories, but about information. Secondly, I don't think that such developments are none of our business as an ABDL community or that we should even be banned from discussing them. Whether an employee makes their resignation public is their decision. In the same way, Abu can decide not to comment on this. In my view, however, the way they are proceeding here reflects rather poorly on Abu. Take a look at the self-description of how Abu sees itself. They claim they care about the community, that it's all ABDL working there. They even explicitly state honesty, transparency and consistency as their promise. How does that fit in with dismissing long-serving employees without warning? If that's true, the company was at least not transparent because its own staff were not informed about the state of the company. That is not consistent either. When you also see that Abu has to keep its store in the USA closed on the weekend after the layoffs and justifies this with unforeseen circumstances, you can probably think of your part in honesty and transparency. At this point, we at least already knew about the first employee's termination from his public post. 
Almost two more weeks passed before Abu broke its silence and released an official statement. It says, the dismissals have nothing to do with the employees. They are great people and have done a great job. For economic reasons, however, the company had to restructure and lay off a number of employees, the exact number is not mentioned here either. This is said to have been caused by many factors. Abu sees part of it as personal mistakes. It is said that prices were kept too low in the hope that the sharp rise in shipping costs due to the pandemic would subside. The CEO does not give any other reasons, but points to his private life as an explanation. He took a leave of absence in mid-2023 for health reasons and handed over the management, as he still needs some time off. Abu will not be participating in events at the moment and will even cancel previous commitments in order to save costs. Product quality will not be compromised and the company would like to participate in events again in the future. That explains part of it, but I still have some questions. Especially when I look at the peak Abu, which have become over 70% more expensive and where even diaper stores say that these higher prices come from Abu. On the other hand, you have to give Abu credit for their commitment to the ABDL scene. For example, they have a partnership with the Qualgeist, which means that participants at the events receive free diapers from the company. This is just one example where I find it credible that they don't just want to make a profit. The community is important to them. With the price jump, for example, this turns into skepticism. Especially when Abu doesn't say anything about it, even though it's probably the biggest jump we've ever had and therefore absolutely needs to be explained. The same applies to the redundancies. It may well be that mistakes were made. I think it's good that this is at least now being admitted to some extent and is a start. But why did they wait so long and deal with it in this way? In my opinion, they should have communicated earlier and more if they care about their employees and customers. If Abu were to consistently implement its values, I would be its biggest fan. I am still divided on the implementation. Even though I would like to be a fan of Abu, we as the ABDL scene need companies that do public relations work, are present at events and provide positive support in other ways. I hope that this will also be critically addressed in the restructuring. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this will happen if all comments are switched off again in the official statement, just so that no dialogue arises. It's a shame, because that's exactly what characterizes the internet. We are not just consumers, we can also react. How do you see the situation at Abu? Let us know in the comments. Stay dry, until the next video.